You know full well that the Labour government will support people like you, not these Tory toffs and the wishy-washy Liberals. I am proud to be fighting on behalf of the people of the world. I pledge to carry the cudgel against corruption. I represent the indigenous Scousers in the Wirral who work really hard to make the Wirral a better place. I, Michael Stevens, Conservative Tory boy, will cut taxes by 50%. I will transfer this noble fight to the Wirral, where I will fight on behalf of all residents to have extra recycling bins if they so choose. Are you one of the thousands of people living in the Wirral who are unsatisfied with this unsightly blight known as Scousers? You're probably looking at me thinking, this is something strange, I've never seen this before. Someone with an honest face. Property! That filthy word. That word on which people grow rich. And I propose to tackle this problem right now. I will urge the conversion of the southbound carriageways of the M53 to cycle lanes. I will fight for the compulsory installation of solar panels on all bungalows. Are you fed up with seeing people, women, aged 15 and to 18, wearing their pyjamas going to the, the shopping centres? What's wrong with pyjamas? Why don't we all wear pyjamas? Let's stick together as one solid group, you know. I'm proud of my Liverpool roots, you know. I've got a few convictions, but no one, no one sees me in a bad light because of that. So remember, comrades, use your precious vote and live your lives to the full. Freedom for Wirral. Vote for me, all our time and mum. A vote for me will ensure that I'm your Labour MP for the next five years. Remember my face and vote for me. Thank you very much. So if you want to see Dick in power, vote yes. Thank you. Good evening and welcome to this special election edition of Wirral Cable News with me, Rivna Jones. This evening I have with me all of the prospective candidates who will be vying for your votes this evening to represent us at the heart of government. We begin this evening with Mr Mick Campbell the Great. current MP for this constituency. Mr Campbell, it would appear that your votes are dependent on a very, very narrow majority this time. Why do you think people should keep you in your current job? Well, I've been the MP here since 1997. I'm a working class man. This is a working class constituency. They know me and they know I'll work hard for them. They've been fooled, I think, by some of the stories they've heard from uh, my opponents here but I'm confident that they will vote for me and return me as their MP today. And you have total confidence in the people of this constituency to bring you back to power? Absolutely, yes. I understand that you have some recent involvement with a development. Could you give us some more details about that, please? If you're talking about the uh, flats development of the dock area, yes, this was a regeneration that was uh, put forward by our government and has produced uh, lots of jobs for the unemployed working class people of this area. So it's a totally altruistic venture? Absolutely, it was purely designed to uh, give housing for the area, to improve the economy and to bring down unemployment. Not to line your pockets? Absolutely not. How is it then, Mr Campbell, I do hope you can explain, that we have verified documented evidence that it's, shall we say, close to a dodgy deal? Uh, they're, they're just Tory lies and, and the Lib Democrats are probably in on it as well. There's absolutely no proof of this whatsoever. Are they all the people you meet down at your favourite little bar afterwards? Uh, what, uh, it's important that an MP has, has proper business contacts. It, it's, how, it's how the world moves. But there's nothing untoward gone on at all, no. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Ab absolutely certain, yes. Not you won't want to recant this after the election? Certainly, certainly not. No, not at all. We turn our attention now to Mr Michael Stevens, the Conservative candidate for this constituency. Hi, Mummy. Mr Stevens, how are your GCSEs Hi. going? All right. And what are your policies on uh, benefit fraud? In jail. All in jail. Put them all in jail. 
And how about taxes? 50% cut, I've told you that. 50% cut. Moving on to Mr Neil Gill. As I've said already, I'm, 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 I'm proud to be taking up the cudgels for the people of the Wirral. Cudgels? The cudgels, yes. It is the fight to the death uh, to, to, to free us from the deadlock of the two-party duopoly here to my right. And I know the odds are stacked against me, but I will not, I will not stop. I will, I will press on, as they say. Oh, good. Uh, despite the obstacles in my way, the, the Liberals are often a, f a figure of fun, as I have learned to my cost on this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> they say the Liberals all have beards, but as you can see, I am clean-shaven. <laughs> yes. Um, they say I, I have lentils for my dinner, uh, which I only do occasionally. Uh, and, and they say that all Liberals wear sandals, uh, which I do with pride. Uh, as you can see, I, I, I wiggle my toes and I am a Liberal. Mrs Betty Sinnott. Could you expand a little on the policies you were discussing earlier, please? About whatever you were discussing earlier, I was listening to Neil, Mr Gill. It's no use offering, as every candidate does here, a little rejig of what we've had. I propose that we change the whole situation. Disband this dreadful class system that exists in this country, and therefore we must get rid of these people living in these expensive homes, send them to be re-educated so that they can understand what really matters, so that they can join in a better life for all. And my government will turn these great big houses into communes that are equipped for the benefit of all. Really? What a fascinating manifesto you have. Thank you so much for your time this evening. You're welcome. Power to the people. And now we're going to speak to um, Dick and... Uh, and Biff. And Biff. Hello, he's Hello. Dick. Yes, can you tell me a little about your quite intriguing policies? Yes, we plan to give Wirral back to the Wirral people, get rid of um, <coughs> scousers and uh, people Come who on. are not... <laughs> get rid of... <laughs> no, let, it, let him speak. This is ridiculous. Talk about every no. time, every... Get rid of scousers who uh, disagree with our policies. Get rid of the people who make Birkenhead so special, is what you want to do. Look at this man, look at this man Quite now. Quite frankly, I think, you're, you know, I think you're courageous to bring a camera in here with the scouser because you know, that will be gone later. Well, well, unless you're filming, you know, it will be not... Honest this to God, be, you know, I'm, I'm not no, even going to rise to this. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. You know what I mean? I'm a he's I a never thought idiot. I'd say this, but I'd rather vote Tory than go with him. He's ridiculous. Yeah, and he's ridiculous. Wonderful. Now we have learned your views. I'm very pleased. Best of luck to you. Now that we've had the opportunity to speak with a number of the candidates, I'd like to speak now with Mr Norman Joplin, who is the returning officer for this evening. Good evening, Mr Joplin. Good evening, Ritna. What are you expecting this evening? Uh, what, I, what the outcome's going to be, I, I have no idea whatsoever. But what what we, I can assure you of, on behalf of Wirral Borough Council, is a very professionally maintained operation. Here at Wirral Borough Council, we have been running operations on election nights in this very building for some 32 years. I myself have presided, uh, had the privilege of presiding on the last 17 occasions, and we will have a very professional staff and a very clear-cut result, I'm sure, according to how the electors decide. Will that be after the third or fourth recount? If a recount is necessary, it will be deemed by me according to strict guidelines from Her Majesty's Government. And now from me, Rivnor Jones, it's back to the studio. You know, there's a lot of apathy. People don't want to vote. People aren't interested in politicians. They're interested in action. They want to know what's being done for them and for, for their children. 